Oh my god, who is that? Hello guys, this is Nintendo Capri Sun. That's not me, but... Well, um... That's the great Zebediah. Master Magician. Most excellent dude! We're about to play a really strange game here. So like, Jake, is this Zeb dude for real? Will he teach you his totally rad magic? <laughs> oh, this game's got 90s written all over it. Yep, he thinks I have gnarly potential, man. And I think he's totally decent. But then... Okay. This is a game. It's called Totally Rad. I rented it once. It came out in, I guess, 1991. And I remember hanging out with my friend Mark Little and playing it just for one weekend and then taking it back. And I haven't played it again since then except for a brief practice run. And so here we go. <laughs> this is a, a kind of an interesting game. It's a platformer, sort of like Mega Man, but it's hard to describe. I'm just going to let the cutscene play out here. I really probably would have benefited from doing a little bit of research here because I am interested to know more about the company that made this game and what else they made and things like that. Now this is actually kind of a hard game at first because the button inputs are a little laggy and I don't know if that's just a product of the way I'm playing it or what, but... You can't help being a wimp if you're tired. You're tired, man! Your body, it can't help it. Anyway, boy, I'm just being stupid. Okay, so Act 1, there are five acts total in the game, so it's not a very long game. We'll probably just do, I don't know, one act per video? So here it is, you run left, you run right, you jump. That's basically it. You can shoot as well. And in the top left corner, you see I have life and magic. Now, if you press start, you have a whole assortment of spells here. On the left are spells. I don't actually use them. Or, I've never used them, really. But I assume they do something. And on the right, you have transformations. This is human, which is what I am right now. This is tiger, which has extremely powerful attack, but is basically useless. This is the bird, which is actually really good, and a fish, which is also really good. Both who have high attack power. Then there's a couple of spells here. One, I guess this helps you run faster, I'm not sure. And this one freezes enemies. Then this is your healing spell, so I'm gonna put this on half heal right here. So if I use the spell, it's gonna use up two blocks of my magic meter, but it'll heal three sections of my life meter. Ah. Uh, so it starts out simple enough, you think, oh, this isn't so bad, you know, I'm shooting enemies and having fun, and then, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> no. I'm not playing sequelized here. You can also duck and shoot, which is actually surprisingly useful. You wouldn't think it would be so useful, but it's kind of, kind of pays to take your time a little bit here, because I'm telling you, man. This is one of those games, it's like Castlevania, if you don't, if you run in just thinking you're gonna plow through it, well, and you got another thing coming, bub. Let me tell you. And you can see I took one hit, I lost two sections of my life there, which is really bad. Most monsters in the game will usually only do one or two um, dots of damage to you. But it's surprising how often early in the game like this some will do two dots of damage. And you see I used my spell there to refill my life. The other spell refills all six dots, but costs twice as much magic. Now to me, it makes more sense to use the half heal, because if you use the full heal, you don't get, you know, you only replenish four dots, because you were only missing four. Whereas with a half heal, it replenishes three at half the cost, and it makes more sense to do three. So I'm gonna do it again, just to top myself off here. Yeah, once you kind of get into the game a little bit, it starts to become a little... Like, you get used to it, you know? But still... It's actually a pretty tough game. I can imagine, though, if you got really... Like, if you played this enough, you memorized where all the enemies were, you could be really good at this, but I don't really have... <laughs> I don't have this game memorized, sorry to say, so... This ain't no Contra, I'll tell you what. Oh, man. You know, sometimes I just like to run, but maybe sometimes that's not always the best idea, either. Yeah, see here, I'm just... Basically... Okay, what do I do, what do I do? Here, let's just get rid of this guy here. He's 
those guys are going to shoot out at you, but there's really, like, it feels like there's nothing you can do sometimes to avoid. Like, maybe you could, yeah, there we go, just bait him to fire and then come up and do that. Yeah, so this is really, <laughs> it's an interesting looking game. I can't help but be reminded of Yo Noid a little bit, especially this first stage here. Kind of reminds me of the skateboarding sections. Now, there's going to be a mini boss here. Surprisingly enough, the mini bosses in this game are actually probably worse than the bosses are. This one in particular, not so much. But you'll see as you get later in the game, they start to get really just disgustingly hard. That wasn't so bad, but whatever. Zeb! Who are those dweebs anyway? <laughs> dweebs. Oh man. Hey, where's Allison, man? I don't know, man. Splinter! Mm, they're like stealing me or something. Well, I guess that would be a problem, wouldn't it? Zeb, I think they went that away. To the tent, isn't that where he was? Okay, so stage two, sort of. But still, it's technically act one. So we're gonna try and get... Yeah, this is gonna be pretty ugly here. So try to keep firing so we can... Well, I guess he only comes out when he's like a certain distance from you. Yeah, and he shoots wherever you are, so... As you can see there, that guy only did one damage to me, so... Yeah, it's really all about the timing of your jumps, because like I said, he's a shoot wherever you are. So you can't jump too soon or else he'll shoot up towards you and then that's no better. Because it's even harder to dodge stuff in the air than it is on the ground, so... So you don't have as much control as you would think you would. This guy's... Oh, there's two of them. Man, I really hate the sound it makes when you take damage, too. It's just... It's too friendly of a sound, you know? It's like... It sounds too nice. Alright. Shoot these balloons. Here we go. Once you get to the boss, you're pretty much done. It's not a big deal. It's beating the boss is the least of your issues. Like I said, most of the bosses in this game... Well, I don't, I don't want to be too quick to say that, because I've still died to some of them. But man, I'll tell you what. Alright, it seems like enemies usually freeze when you hit them like that, so you can kind of... You know, just freeze them in place and have your way with them. It adds more of a freeze to when you hit the enemy. And the little flamey thing is a nice, better indicator of death. Alright. Dude! Didn't even see you coming. This guy, you know, let's get him before he gets a chance to do anything. Uh, yeah, we're good again. So yeah, very strong Mega Man vibes I get from this too, but... Yeah, especially because, like, the pose that you make when you cast a spell is sort of like Mega Man's jumping pose, I guess, a little bit. Which I guess is where that comes from. I remember Mark saying it reminded him of Mega Man when we played. Mark Little, are you out there, Mark Little? The son of Sherry, brother of Jessica Little. I'd love to know, because man, I used to have so much fun hanging out with you. I haven't seen you in, huh, how many years now? Well, I was about, what, I was like 16 then? Ugh! Oh, oh, this is so irritating. I just can't get, I can't see myself. Okay, these things here, what they'll do is like, sort of take off if you get close enough to them. So if you can trigger them to take off, you can just avoid fighting them altogether. See, I didn't really do that there. Damn, man, I'm having a horrible run here. Really shouldn't be this low on magic, but... Then again, last time I did this, I only used the full heal. So I didn't really figure out the half heal trick until... ...much later, so... I don't know, maybe I'm doing better than I think I am, I don't know. Yeah, these, oh, these enemies are so annoying. You just have to... You just have to find the best position to fight them from and do it from there. Oh, nope, nope. Okay, I don't think there's fall damage in this game. But there's really never an instance where you will fall very far. You just barely hit this guy. There we go. Kinda hit the stem of the balloon, it's kinda funny. <laughs> like, you would think, you know, to destroy a balloon, you'd pop it, but no. Apparently you can just hit the stem. I'm gonna get down here, because this guy's gonna fall. And 
if I'm not already here before he falls, he's just gonna start running back and forth. And then he'll be nigh near impossible to dodge. So I'll start showing off some of my other forms. Like, I could do it now. Like, I could transform now, but that would use up magic. Besides, I like to kind of save him for later when we really need him. There's a lot of stuff flying at me here. Sometimes it's not a bad idea to just shoot blindly, you know, just in case something comes up in front of you. Okay, so here we go. First boss versus Burp! Of course. Oh, that was very good, very good. Yeah, as you can see, not much to it. Not sure why he's wearing high heels, but... I guess it's sort of like Queen high heels, you know? Like Freddie Mercury used to wear. Anyway, just pop him right in the little weak spot there. It couldn't be any more obvious, really. Yeah, there are times when it seems like bosses do things that you just can't avoid. Like when he charges at you like that, there's nothing you can really do. You just have to take it and survive, you know? Well, I guess if you stood on the far left, then it wouldn't hit you because his stomach would hit the front. Oh, well, there you go! That's Act 1 done, and somehow I feel that's not quite the length of a video. Communicate telepathically from now on. Okay. That was a good time to use the magic I taught you! I don't know what kind of a voice this guy would have. You've got to save Alice and... Your magic is more powerful than ever! Yes it is, I know. But be careful, Jake! No problem. Some magic spells are bogus and won't work. That's what I'm worried about. He says that. And it makes me think one of those four spells in the bottom left is probably something stupid. I suppose for the sake of completeness I should try and attempt to show them. But if I'm gonna do it, I should do it now on the easy levels, you know. <laughs> yeah, this guy's not bad. He'll just jump back and forth in front of you. So I like to try to avoid consuming magic any more than I have to. Also, watch out for these, like, because these enemies, like, respawn on you, too. If you have one that's right on the edge of the screen and you, you know, you pull back a little bit to get away from him, and then you kill him, then you're gonna walk into the spot where he spawns again, and then there you go. Hey, so see this guy, for example. I really hate him, because he just runs right at you, and... Oh, like, jumping over him is not really an option. Oh boy, just got that out in the barely nick of time. Sometimes I think battle of attrition is the way to go here. Jeez, man. This is dirty. It's just like it doesn't do any good to run away from him because you run so slow. By the time you get over there, he's like a three quarters of the way across the screen to you. Like, I'll try running away from him now, but see, it's like, you have no time. It's like, sometimes I feel like some of these mini-bosses, they do stuff you can't avoid. What am I doing? Where do I go? Oh. Right, and then down. That's like the arrow said, really. Okay, so you can't go to the left here, as far as I know. I can't imagine why you would want to, unless you played a lot of Metroidvania in your life and you think... You know, the games were always like that, which they weren't. I mean, we're talking about a pretty old game here. <laughs> it's like right near the end of the NES... You know, I mean, the Super Nintendo was already out by the time this came out, so... I really don't know what the pattern is for these, I just jump. I hope I don't take... well, I mean, they only do one damage, so... Not a huge deal. Use the invincibility frames, get through it. I have a feeling I'm probably gonna die here, though. Okay, more mini boss action, huh? Okay, this guy's not too bad, because you can actually see. Well, first of all, because he won't run towards you and just run you over. But also, you can kind of predict where his projectiles are going and you'll know, avoid them, so. It may have been smarter for me to, like, trade forms. Here's the thing, though, like, when you're in a different form that's not human, 
you can't heal yourself. So you have to turn back into a human to heal yourself and then go back and turn into that form again. Which means it costs more magic, you know, to... I mean, it doesn't cost any magic to turn back into a human, but it does cost the magic to turn back into the form that you were using before you went back to human. So there is that. A bee! Good lord. How'd I know there was gonna be one of those? I never imagined that stupid saying would be that useful. Okay, so, yeah, this guy's kind of a pain in the butt. But he's not too... Like, he doesn't take that many shots to kill. It's like two shots, I think. Yeah, see, there's... Like, I would jump onto the platform up there to get a better shot, but you never know when he's gonna... You know, go halfway across the screen and turn around and come back, you know? To come back! Because once they do that, then it's, like, over. Yeah. And it's always tempting to try to, like, shoot up... But doing that is going to cast magic, so... Oh, boy. It's so tricky, though. So pretty much every other time, he just goes halfway. So if I do this, it should be a... Oof, boy. I could just skip him. I'm not sure... Oh, crap. I took some needless damage there. Well, okay, I guess I was wrong. I thought... Ugh. Usually these guys don't take that long to kill. Good lord. Let's have ourselves a picnic here. Oh, he just happened to be at the height of his fly. Oh, what's he doing? he's changing his pattern here now. Man, I can't hit this dude for nothing. Now you see why I'm so scared of bees. Now you see why I say, A BEE! Every time I see, A BEE! It's because I've never been stung by, A BEE! In my life. And so I'm scared every time I see, A BEE! Okay, this, this is past the point of ridiculous. Seriously, thank you. Man, oh man. Okay, so here's an example of... There, see? You just trigger him to come and then you don't have to kill him. Sometimes they're placed a little too close though, you can't get back out of the way. So I don't know what you would do then, I guess you just poop. Oh, uh, we're gonna probably get over here on the left. Pretty sure I can avoid this. Well, this guy will be a little easier to hit than the other one was. There we go. See, four hits. Not a big deal. That other guy sure didn't feel like he only took four hits, but oh boy, he almost got me there. Can't believe I've gotten this far without, like, dying at this point. Mm-hmm. Sort of get a little bit of a Ninja Turtles 1 vibe off of this, too. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Just keep firing, assholes. It's the only advice I can give you. Assholes. I can't even, oh, I'm trying to trigger this guy. I don't think he wants to. Okay. All right. Well, that, that works too. Hey. <laughs> I got basically no magic here, so it's gonna take a. I don't know. A bit of a miracle for this to work out. Good. 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 Just take your time. Try to hit the next checkpoint if you can. <laughs> oh, dang it. I guess if, I, if all else fails, just go ahead and kill them. Not a huge deal. It does keep track of, like, how many enemies you've killed here. I have four lives, really? I don't know how that happened. You must get... Oh, boy. Well, you're about to see the death animation here in a minute. Oh, seriously, you're not going to open up until I... Mm -hmm. Until I jump, rather. Is that it? Let's just get over here. It's all about knowing where all the safe spots are. If you know where the safe spots are, you can usually deal with just about all the enemies in the game. That's it. See, I'm a crybaby now. That's okay. Now we got full magic again. Not wasting it on stupid crap. Oh no, we gotta do this B again. Good lord, man. I'm gonna see what happens if I try to jump past him. Will he follow me? I don't remember. Well. I guess not. But in a way, that's kind of a relief. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I guess shooting him and freezing him was well, one way, you know, one means to slow him down enough so he wouldn't actually hit me there. 
this is just one of those games. It's all about memorizing patterns, and once you learn the patterns, you learn the game. I mean, hell, if you wanted to learn to speedrun a game, this would probably be a perfect... You know, if you wanted your five minutes on the AGDQ, well, this would be the way to do it. Alright, so... Take him out. Oh, I didn't see you there. Sometimes you just don't see them. Boom, gotcha. Let's see if I can't... Ooh, that's not work. And your shots do have a slight vertical you know, uh, discrepancy from your own height, if that makes any sense. So, so you can kind of shoot stuff that's higher than you are when you're jumping, maybe a little bit, I don't know. It's hard to say for sure. Ooh, 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 there we go. It's one thing at a time here, one thing at a time. We're doing much better now. I guess I'll go ahead and refill here. Uh, or re-sniff, you know. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get this one here. Boom and boom, boom and boom, boom. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna start using the transformations pretty soon here. It might have been a good idea to go ahead and start using them now, really. Nice. All right. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to just get past this guy. We're gonna have to kill him. Never really much paid attention to the music in this game. There is one song in this game that, for whatever reason, I've remembered for all, like, what, 20 years, despite having not played the game a single time or not seen a Let's Play of it. I, I still remember this one song, and I don't know why. But when I was younger, music was, like, my sole reason. Uh, it was a huge part of the reason why I played games. Just for the music. Even more so than it is now. Even now, I consider music to be a pretty big priority. But... Not, it's not like it was when I was a kid. When I was a kid, it was practically the only priority. I mean, sure, I like playing too, you know, but still. Man, I should have peed before I started this. Crap. Alright. Go ahead and fill up here. Are we over? Oh, we're done. Okay, good, 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 good. So, this guy's not too much worse than the guy before him. What you want to do is shoot out his leg first. And obviously, this stuff is really easy to dodge here. And eventually, when the leg gives out, then you just shoot the eye and you're good. Now, if I was using the bird form, I could just fly up there and hit him straight away if I wanted to. Yeah, see, this takes a while, actually. I'm kind of surprised it's taking this long. There it is. Now he's going to start doing this. But now, I mean, he's just as easy to dodge as ever. Just make sure you're all the way on the left side of the screen so when he charges you, because they won't come all the way to the left side of the screen. That wouldn't be fair, obviously. So you just have to make sure your position is good. That's kind of hard to dodge when he's up close to you like that, so... <laughs> so taking damage is almost inevitable, but... I'd really be interested now to see if somebody has but speed run this game. Because once you've played, you know, it's hard to tell if you've never played the game before how hard it actually is. So then when you do play it, if you go back and watch somebody, it's like, oh, holy crap, how did they do that? And that's the kind of feeling that I'd, I'm, I'm, I'm at that point where I would still feel that if I watched some, oh man, look at that. See, I remember getting to this point in the game that week. We never beat the game that weekend when we rented it, but I remember when we got to this point, he said something like, oh, she's pretty hot for an 8-bit girl. I'm like, yeah, I guess so. It's gotta love that 90s fashion, let me tell you. I don't know what they've done with him. Okay, so the twist here is you save the girl at the end of stage 2, and then the bad guys kidnap her father. Now you gotta save her father, which is... I mean, hello, Ninja Gaiden, anyone? <laughs> but yeah, so... Anyway. So while it's not the most original twist in the world, it is definitely something you don't see very often, or it definitely... It's definitely something you didn't see a lot of back then, for sure. Especially in a game as kooky as this. 
like a Ninja Gaiden you can kind of see because, well, that's a really serious game, you know? Be excellent, Jake. You better believe it. So Act 3, we will start next time on Totally Rad for the NES. See you guys later. What the hell am I doing?